This is a quick little video just to show you how you can create a very simple offset pattern repeat. I start by creating a square and I'm going to make my square 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. So I typed in 2020 and tab. Now I'm going to change the color of that square to blue and I'm going to remove the stroke. This is very important. I'll zoom in and I will create a star. So just a random star. I'll make that yellow. So the principle of an offset pattern repeat is to be able to, first of all, you need to know exactly the size of your repeat, mine is 20 millimeters, and then to understand the whole structure of it. So I'll create it for you first, and then I'll take you through what the structure is. So I've put a star in the corner, I'm going into my keyboard increments and making them 20 millimeters, so the same size as the square. And with my Alt key and arrows, I copy that star to each of the corners. I'm now going to put a circle in the middle. And I'll make that another color. So what you see here is the very, very basis of the start of a pattern repeat. To contain that repeat, what I need to do is have a transparent box at the very back of the repeat. To do this, I select my original rectangle or square, edit copy, edit, paste in back, and I remove the fill from it. So this is very important. No fill, no stroke. I'll just use my arrows and move that across to show you no fill, no stroke. Now I select everything, open up my swatches and drag that repeat into there. So there it is. The following I'm going to show you is just an example of what it is that's happening. So I'll select everything, copy that down, and for each of those stars, I will put another color. Select that print again, drag it into the swatches panel, and change the fill. So can you see now the difference between the two? What you can see here is that each of those stars is actually only a quarter of the repeat because I contain the repeat within that two centimeter square with the transparent bounding box at the very back. So if I change the color of that and move that back, you can see that this is at the very back of the print. If it's not at the back of the print, what will happen is the following. It won't contain the print. So the boundary of the print will not be contained. The first print that I created was just to show you the full process of creating that print. So where I've got my star motive and my circle motive, even though it looks like I've got four stars, essentially I only have one star because the print is, that star is caught within the boundaries of that print. So you can see from the bottom one that it's actually just a quarter of a star. And that's it. Very simple and I hope very clear. Thanks for watching.